What's up, guys? Do you want to be a universe? I don't want to talk in very much in the beginning of this because of the very exciting last episode, and we're just going to get straight up into it. Link in the description below to head off to the Google Drive where this is going to be uploaded because, you know, last channel got taken down because of Steven Universe and how YouTube is apparently stupid when it comes to copyright issues and copyright problems, and I got, you know, we're not going to get too far into that. So, yeah, link in the description below. Go to Google Drive to watch it. Come back if you want to know my end review, or don't. It's perfectly fine. As long as you got your feel of, of the reaction, it's fine with me. Three. Three, two, one, now. <gasps> oh, I love this show. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this is exactly what I mean. Oh, this is exactly, exactly what I mean when it comes to like having the characters be with one another like this. This is the per the, they just bounce off each other so well. I love Lapis, like Lapis, along with the, everyone else in this, sh this this show is amazing. Lapis just has this attitude of I don't care. <laughs> She is literally the CB Universe equivalent of Saitama right now. Like, legit. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I need, like, a tissue. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I'm calm down now. I'm calm. I'm calm. Alright, this episode was, by far, to me, one of the funniest episodes in all of CB Universe. Bar none. The Rubies... <laughs> Are so stupid. <laughs> like, it really, like, really, like, Ruby, our Ruby, who's with Sapphire right now, who is so smart compared to them. She is Albert freaking Einstein compared to them. <laughs> Alright? Okay. <laughs> I love I love the premise of this. It, you know, if 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 any other thing happened, like you know, it, it, we wouldn't have an episode if Steven was like, I'm gonna make baseball like a cheating of our side sport, so no matter what they do, we win kind of deal. But no, he's like traditional ba uh, baseball. We're gonna do this the right way. We're gonna face gems, you know, with godlike strength that can easily hit the ball out of the park each and every time that we throw the ball. And then we have Ruby and Sapphire. Acting like a couple of kindergartners and first, oh my, like they first met each other, like a little crush deal. <laughs> it really is, it, it really is funny how they, how they, like, this is kind of the thing that we kind of expected them to act like when they're inside Garnet, when they're, when they are Garnet. This is exactly what goes on in Garnet's head, like, almost every single second of every day. And when they're not Garnet, they still act like that because they love each other so much. And I literally teared up, like, I literally teared up when Sapphire was like, I just want to have my eye on you. I mean, like, that's love. That is love, but I really wish love was that easy, and that love was like that. I would actually pursue a girlfriend if it was actually like that, but since I already know how the world works and humanity is stupid, I'm not going anywhere near a relationship, considering the fact that I can't maintain a relationship. I can't uh, maintain a dishwasher. <laughs> I'm not going to maintain a woman. So, with all that being said, this episode... Bardon, funniest episode, loved, uh, even with Peridot and her small moments in the episodes, are one of the greatest. <laughs> like how she thought she was the leader of the Crystal Gems, and how how bluntly honest that these characters are with each other, especially with Peridot and Steven, just like, oh, we're doing just fine. No, you're not. You're lying to me. Only to make you feel better. Well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, man. And they didn't even care. It's like their mission was just to get Jasper. They weren't even coming after, they weren't even coming after Paradox. They were just looking for Jasper. And even after finding out, like, they were so stupid and don't understand, like, the hierarchy and how things work so much. Even when they saw two opposite fusions fuse with each other to make something completely different and what used to be known as an abomination... As we saw from the flashback, they just saw it like, they're gems, fused so we can fight them, that's it. They didn't even be like, oh no, that's disgusting, that's horrific, they're crystal gems or something like that. No, they're just like, okay, they're gems. 
we've been we've been duped. We've been hog dangled, fused with each other, and then they make one giant uh, red thing, uh, uh, red ruby. Which some people kind of complain about how the designs of like uh, all the rubies combining one another makes just one giant one. I for one think that's by far the smartest thing you can possibly ever think of when it comes to this kind of stuff. When you have like mul when you have multiple of the same and they fuse with each other, you're just gonna get a big one of the same. That makes sense. But when you take two different things and put them together, you don't know the turnout and it's gonna come out like something like Garnet, which makes sense. I like how they really thought about that. So we got like a whole bunch of sapphires and they all came together, we'll just get a giant sapphire. Same thing with pearl, same thing with amethyst. But if you have amethyst and pearl, you're going to get a different gem. You're going to have garnet and other gems, you're going to get a different gem. That makes sense. I like how they did the dynamic. And I don't know if I really increased that enough when I first saw it, because that that's brilliant. And it really shows why they never want to try to fuse with one another, because they think it's inhumane. Well, it can't be inhumane since they're not humans. But they think it's in gem main. Wow, that was terrible. They they don't find it natural, and uh, it's like, yeah, race equality or something like that. Like you cannot go with anyone else unless you're your own person. That sort of thing. And wow, all of this, those those rubies were so stupid. I'm really happy that our ruby is really smart. Like, not even when you're trying to come to compare with the other. She's just smart. Period. That's it. And uh, yeah. I, I, lo I love this episode for its comedy, its, its, its setup, its, its goal. The one thing that we know now is where exactly is Jasper? We saw her fall down the thing, and the rubies are going to Neptune. I don't know if we're actually going to get like a scene of them going to Neptune and literally scouring all of Neptune to find her. I would have sent them to Jupiter. I, at least, I think, wait, hold on, let me actually go online. What is the biggest planet in our solar system? I'm not smart, guys, so don't come to me and be like, wait, you don't know what the biggest planet is? Uh, because I don't. I, I don't pay attention to things that doesn't involve me drawing. I don't draw planets. Well, I don't draw planets really well. Yeah, I want something to Jupiter. At least Jupiter is, like, huge compared to anything else they would have gone to. And then if you're trying to, like, make them, like, scour someplace for a long time just say Jupiter uh, just say Jupiter or Saturn or Saturn's big it's like say something bigger than freaking Neptune I mean come on I know it's like uh, farther away I guess uh, but you, you just pick something on and makes them take a lot more time so just like that, that that's all I gotta say um yeah that's pretty much good so I love this episode and yeah no, I, I pretty much have nothing else better to say than that. Can't wait until the next episode comes out. That, that's the one thing I can't wait for. And I'll see you guys next time.